It's a common misperception that every old diner was once a railroad car. Well, they weren't. Except when they were. Schenectady, New York is my kind of town. Great industrial history, great immigrant stories, lots of transportation. Erie Boulevard, main drag, used to be the Erie Canal, and on that drag used to be the Silver Diner. In 2005, I was up in Schenectady to check out the Silver Diner. I'd heard it was going to be torn down, and supposedly inside was this ancient railroad car. Now, most diners were built to look like railroad cars, but didn't actually have them in them, so I had to investigate. When I pulled up, the diner was obviously closed, headed out of business, not long for this world. But when I looked at the end of it, it had that clear story roof that looked like a railroad car. So I thought this could be it, but it looked a little too wide for a train. It's easy to get faked out because diner manufacturers did such a good job of making diners look like trains. But when you look at the sign, the coach on it has a monitor roof. That's like 1860s, 1850s stuff. You can see the difference between the monitor roof on the left and the clear story roof on the right. Could an old monitor coach have been under that new roof? I needed some kind of proof and I ended up finding it at the Schenectady Historical Society which had a menu from the original diner. And look at the roof. That's the train car and it had the standard clear story roof that we all identify with a classic car. So while it was an old train car, it wasn't something from the 1860s, but still pretty cool. Of course, there's a lot more to this diner than just the roof and I wanted to know the whole story, but I never found out before it was torn down. But thanks to the Grimm's Doolittle Collection at the Schenectady Historical Society, you can go online and find out the full history of the Silver Diner. I've posted a link to the Historical Society's blog page about the diner in the description. And that's where you'll have to go to see the diner, because if you head down Erie Boulevard today, there's nothing left. Don't forget to hit subscribe for some more Rusted Days with Robert John Davis. Get notified as new episodes come alive.